This is the Ultium battery from General Motors. The largest American auto manufacturer is going all in on EVs. General Motors, we believe in an all electric future. Uh, we're working to a goal where we have zero crashes, zero emissions and zero congestion. GM CEO Mary Barra believes the company will dominate the U.S. market. We're going to be number one mid-decade in EVs in the U.S. And this is the battery technology that is going to take it there. It starts with a single cell that we can use as a brick that we can build all these different vehicles with. And that Ultium cell then will go into a Hummer, a Lyric, or any other vehicle that we dream up in a very quick fashion. GM plans to invest $35 billion in electric and autonomous vehicles by 2025. It plans to have manufacturing capacity for 1 million EVs and is scheduled to launch more than 30 electric vehicles globally over that same time period. Many will utilize the new platform. The whole company, we intend to have all light duty vehicles be EVs by 2035. GM is also building a commercial EV business under the Bright Drop brand name. It has begun delivering vehicles to FedEx and has signed a contract with Walmart. But it is hard to find a car maker of any significant size that is not working on an electric vehicle, and there are countless startups all around the world. So what makes GM's Ultium platform technology different? We've got the right partners with our three factories making these cells with LG, and now we're gonna make the world's best brick to make the world's best vehicles. CNBC went inside GM's battery lab to see how it is different from what Tesla and other EV battery makers are doing and how GM plans to become a major player in the EV market. What we have here is a lithium ion battery. And this is our large format lithium ion battery that powers all of these vehicles. Tim Gru is the General Director of Electrification Strategy and Cell Engineering at General Motors. GM unveiled its Ultium platform in March of 2020. It is a whole new architecture for electric vehicles. It encompasses new battery designs, new motors, platforms, and even new software for electric vehicles. We're at what we call the Estes Development Center, where basically we bring all the ingredients for Ultium together and we make sure that they work properly together and as individual components. GM partnered with the battery cell manufacturing giant LG Energy Solutions to develop the Ultium battery. The partnership is opening three battery factories across the United States between 2022 and 2024. One in Ohio, one in Tennessee, and one in Michigan. For the first time, we've got a single Ultium cell that can be the foundational brick to build all of these vehicles together. And with that, we're scaling it. GM has already teased, unveiled, announced, or begun producing several fully electric vehicles using the Ultium platform. The GMC Hummer pickup and Hummer SUV, the Cadillac Lyric Premium SUV and Celestic Sedan, the Chevrolet Silverado EV full-size pickup truck, the Chevrolet Blazer, and a fully electric version of the Corvette. Battery technology is complex, but a battery generates electricity through a chemical reaction. A battery is made up of an anode, a cathode, a mix of chemicals that separates the anode and cathode, and an electrolyte. When the battery is discharging, i.e. generating electricity, ions move from the anode end to the cathode end. When charging, ions move in the opposite direction. The positive and the negative have these nice, I call them parking garages, right, where you can store the lithium. When it's all the way charged, they're all parked in the negative side, we call it the anode. When they discharge, they go and they park in the positive side, and then the separator basically makes the traffic lane so that all happens very uniformly and can last the life of the vehicle. There are several things that make the Ultium platform different. It is, say some industry analysts, the first large-scale use of a new battery chemistry. The new chemistry considerably reduces the content of some very expensive and tough-to-source materials. EV batteries often use chemistries that rely on cobalt, often in combination with nickel, manganese, or other elements. Tesla, for example, has been known to use a combination of nickel, cobalt, and aluminum in many of its cars. However, it has recently been trying to move toward cobalt-free battery designs. GM's partnership with LG Energy Solutions has developed a different chemistry. It reduces the cobalt by 70%. This nickel-manganese-cobalt-aluminum is one of the primary factors that will drive Ultium battery pack costs below $100 per kilowatt hour. 
That is a threshold the entire industry is trying to hit to make EVs cost competitive with internal combustion cars. GM has also taken the unusual step of developing a new battery management system that manages the battery at a more granular level than others. Most battery management systems, including Tesla's, work at the pack level. GM's system manages the battery at the level of individual modules. This will allow GM to replace parts of a battery pack bit by bit over time if needed, rather than replacing the whole pack at once. It also means GM doesn't need to stock old battery parts. Newer battery technology can be put into an Ultium pack alongside older technology and the pack will still function. Your cell phone has a pouch battery in it, or your tablet has a pouch battery in it, but they're obviously not automotive batteries. And so what we do with our approach is we say, well, we, we make it more robust, we add more installation, we make sure it can last the life of the vehicle in our pouches. The idea of a pouch design is not unique to GM, but GM says there are aspects of its design that are proprietary. It's generic, but how we make it is very unique. Cells are tightly packed side by side, which reduces the space between them. That allows for more energy capacity. The design is flexible and can accommodate cells of other shapes. GM's vehicles in China don't use the long cell design seen in the US. They instead use something called a prismatic can, a shorter, wider box. So this is an example of a prismatic can. It's got the same electrode in it as the actual, you know, flat stacked one here. You simply wind it up inside of it. China is the world's largest EV market. GM sold 2.9 million vehicles in China in 2021. Sales of new plug-in hybrids and electrics, collectively called new energy vehicles or NEVs in China, rose considerably. Its Buick Velit NEV family doubled sales year over year. You think about just China alone, 15, 20% of the world's market, they're gonna be almost entirely electric in the next five years of their 2025 plan. In China, GM sells more electric cars than Tesla. Cell modules can be stacked vertically or horizontally as the vehicle design requires. They can be double stacked to include up to 24 modules in a truck, for example, or there could just be one single layer of modules in a sports car. This is basically a Lyric pack that you see right in front of you. So it's got all the structure integrated into it so that it can be part of the vehicle, and there's 12 of those modules in here to meet the Lyric's needs. Now you can imagine if you have an Equinox, it'll be less than 12 and it'll just be a shorter pack. An Ultium battery pack can provide up to 450 miles of range on a charge at a quarter of the weight and about 40% of the cost of GM's previous battery designs. A vehicle with 450 miles on a single charge would place among the longest range vehicles available in the United States. Only the Lucid Air Dream Edition outpaces it with an estimated 520 miles. The Tesla Model S has a 405 mile range. Around 2008, we said people really want an EV and we made the Volt Extended Range EV, where it's a very capable 50-mile EV. 2016, we came out with the Bolt EV, which was a 238-mile EV. The Volt Extended Range made it possible. The Bolt EV in 2016 made it practical. You could use the car. And now with things like the Hummer and the Lyric, it's preferred. If GM's Ultium battery pack does have a per kilowatt hour cost of less than $100, that would put it in territory competitors have not been able to reach. That's still the, the target that everybody's uh, trying to get to is under $100 per kilowatt hour. Tesla's been under $100 a kilowatt hour at the cell level for a while now uh, because they use those cylindrical cells and, and they're, they're cheaper to make. But the way they make their, their pack is more complex. So that offsets some of that uh, savings on the cell. These batteries will all be powering Ultium Drive electric motors, which GM unveiled in September 2021. The first vehicle the system will be featured on is the GMC Hummer. General Motors was the first automaker to make a serious attempt at a mass market EV. Its EV1 was only available for lease in limited numbers in the late 1990s. Its first fully electric vehicle after that was the Chevrolet Bolt, first introduced for the 2017 model year. But like all automakers, it has been largely overshadowed and outsold in the US EV market by industry leader Tesla. With Ultium, the company is trying to take the lead again. They obviously don't get anywhere remotely close to anything in the same stratosphere as Tesla in terms of their business, but they've got to show that their EV business really works, that they haven't yet. 
Some industry experts are skeptical that GM's Ultium technology is in any way ahead of the curve. Monroe & Associates is a manufacturing consultancy that is known in the auto industry for its teardowns and analyses of electric vehicles and battery packs. We are tasked with investigating every EV that is, that is being manufactured that is leading in the world. Steuben said Monroe & Associates has not been able to yet tear down an Ultium-based vehicle. They are basing their opinions on what GM is saying about the Ultium platform and what the firm has found in its other research and teardowns. My broad impression of the Ultium platform is that it's a really good idea, but it's five to seven years too late. Many of the virtues that they're extolling in their marketing campaigns, particularly with the form factors of the cell, the energy density, the reduction of wiring, the layout and configuration of the motors, are already being done if you study the market. We can draw parallels in the battery to VW ID4. I can't draw very many parallels to the Tesla because the form factor and chemistry is different. Take battery chemistry, for example. While GM's battery chemistry has reduced cobalt content, eliminating cobalt altogether from a battery portfolio is something that many manufacturers have done. Tesla is using cobalt-free lithium ion phosphate cells in its Chinese models. In everything that I read on GM's strategy, they're primarily sticking to that, I think, nickel manganese cobalt aluminum chemistry, which does have some advantages, but still having some cobalt, I want to see elimination of cobalt in some of their chemistry choices. That said, there are some features that are notable. The fact that you know they're designing everything from scratch for this thing, uh, you know, it's all purpose built for EVs is, is a good thing. It gives them the opportunity to really optimize all of the systems for an EV. That's probably, in theory at least, it should help them. GM says the next generation of Ultium will offer twice the energy density at 60% of the cost. We've made announcements about our lithium metal technology, which is much higher energy density, very capable to make it happen. And that's the true entrepreneur, really going to change the world type stuff. As with many other battery technologies, there are many companies working on lithium metal batteries. Ford, BMW, Volkswagen, and others are investing in them. Perhaps the true test of Ultium cells will come once people start getting behind the wheel. I think the Cadillac Lyric is really going to be our first real look at what the true possibilities are with the Ultium platform. The Cadillac Lyric will be GM's first crossover to market with Ultium cells and will come in a size and shape that will more closely resemble the crossovers and SUVs customers are buying. With a starting price of around $60,000, the Lyric increases GM's chances of being profitable on each vehicle. It also positions GM to directly challenge leaders like Tesla. Another top selling segment where GM is securing a toehold is the full-size pickup truck. This is the best selling segment overall in America and one dominated by American manufacturers, especially Ford and GM. Ford and GM have, were both really surprised by the demand when they announced their electric pickup trucks. GM unveiled the Chevrolet Silverado EV at CES in January 2022. In late April, the company said it already had over 140,000 reservations for the truck. We're seeing a, a real shift from the market towards EVs, uh, a lot of customer pull for EVs, and that's, that's caught a lot of manufacturers by surprise. And so they're scrambling now to figure out you know, how do they get enough materials to build all the batteries for what they perceive as the, the demand for these things. And this is, this is the next big challenge for everybody.